What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Texans Franchise. And today we have a very fun slash weird matchup with a team that matches up really well against us. Except uh, they kind of don't at the same time. Our offenses are the same overalls, but uh, our defenses are four overalls apart with theirs being four overalls better. But they have a difference of seven between their offense and defensive overalls, making their total overall 84. So... If you guys don't remember what the roster looks like, you guys should. Eric Walker, I will start this game, but um, yeah, I mean, we could make a few like adjustments in the wide receiving room. I think that we could use a guy like Rashad Curtis, kind of spark plug to the offense and figure him out. And then, I mean, Demi Pierce has been so, so good this year. Um, I mean, kind of look towards what he can what he can bring to this team. And Don Reedy, two sacks last week, or two back-to-back -back games with sacks. I think that was it. Zach Terrell playing pretty well. Not great, but well. Um, and then, yeah, our, obviously our corner room is fine. It's doing okay. It's not really the greatest. But, I mean, there's a lot of things that we can improve on, but there's also a lot of things that we have to to work forward to, um, if that makes sense. Like, we have to develop guys. We have to develop guys like Jahan, Dotson, Eric Walker, Damian Pierce, James Cook, Trey McBride, A.J. Long. Our whole offensive line develops. Defensively, I mean, everyone in here can pretty much develop other than um, maybe Trayvon Diggs and Matabuike. Everyone in here has a chance to kind of go up another three or so overalls. We've got a lot of work to do. And uh, that starts with playing the damn game. And so uh, that's what I'm here for. And this is really the commander's quarterback. So we're going to have to worry about the run. I could see why their offense is so bad. And then, yeah, we'll definitely go against the blitz counter. We were getting heavy pressured last week. Looking at these right here, we'll try to get an interception on the 66 overall quarterback. Try to get 300 and then no sacks allowed. I'm on board with all of that right there. And then we'll simulate training. And I'm guessing that we'll have... Uh, no injuries and upgrades. So injury-wise, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? None. No injuries whatsoever. I got to make sure that those are turned on. I already did, but probably should check again considering we haven't seen anything uh, from that standpoint. And we have no upgrades. And yeah, we'll look towards our guys that can be reliable. And James Cook is one of those guys out of the backfield running it and or catching the ball. Yo, they have a bubba dub of their own over there. We'll try to see what uh, this this Washington team can bring as a challenge. Obviously, um, been bad and good these last couple of years. They've kind of been in the middle. They've uh, made the playoffs, and they've also, I mean, they've done some good and bad for sure in these last couple or a few years. And uh, we'll see what they can do here in Madden as our rookie quarterback will enter the field here soon. If I had to make any any sort of guess, and Eric Walker will join us on the field. Not the greatest of numbers, obviously. Touchdowns to interception ratio sucks. We are, like, in week 12 or whatever. Yeah, this season is flying, by the way. I'm not sure if we're quite to week 12. I just want to say that so his numbers don't look all that bad. But, um... Oh, God. They already have pressure, a fumble, and Deron Payne goes up to the five and it's a commander's touchdown there's a little curl route there from curtis samuel nothing worth showing but what the hell um already a good touchdown from washington all right yes we are going back to the pass i don't care we'll try to go to nico collins but couldn't quite get it there uh, dude i'm already pissed off i don't know what's going on already but we're gonna have to try to run the ball on one of the best defensive fronts in the league and um yeah, it's not going to be easy. Four yards right there from James Cook. Yeah, we're going to have to try to do something here. This is a very tough situation that we are in. And um, we'll have to get James Cook. Does he reach for the amount of yards? Fourth and inches. I trust him on the run right here. They might stack up the inside, but James Cook, no other guy to get the first down. And uh, does barely get that one right there, but... Due to some stupid animation, considering he didn't want me to get that. But uh, inside stuff right there. Damian Pierce running right towards contact. All that matters is running away from uh, from Mr. Jonathan... Why am I blanking? Jonathan Allen. I was blanking on his last name there for a second. And uh, we probably want to get this pass game going a little bit. Um, a little bit more than... 
most passing games that we've had this season, not that great. And uh, third and five, we got to figure something out here. Definitely have to figure something out. Maybe a run right here would have been, might be a little bit smarter, but maybe not. Justin Ross making great separation off the line, getting up the field and doing what is good and right. We will go off of play action on this one right here. Try to get Justin Ross again. Justin Ross, I mean, right now he's the only one creating separation in the middle field. Maybe it could be his breakout game. And uh, we'll bring Nico Collins. Not on that play. We're not. A guy like Nico Collins is not made for that. And Damian Pierce breaks off a tackle, leans forward, gets five or four on the play right there. We'll go with the, the PA right here. We'll go play action. Justin Ross looks tired on the sidelines. And um, I tell you, we could have had Justin Ross or, or um, Jahan Dotson earlier if uh, we weren't in play action. We had easily had him. But uh, now we've just got to look for the open guy. I think it'll either be James Cook or it'll be whatever. I think that we'll have to run this one up and good for the amount of yards right there. That's the improviser. That's the improviser in Eric Walker right there. You just saw. We'll try to put Nico Collins on a go route and see if that safety drops. He doesn't, meaning we'll have to give it out to James Cook. Try to outrun Jamin Davis, is that? No, that is just another really fast linebacker that I was able to get to. It's only after five. So they've got the linebackers to keep us in check with uh, the guys we need to be keeping kept in check with. Um, just give it to Nico Collins. He finds himself up the seam for his touchdown. Uh, we moved the ball well. With the pass, with a good amount of running right there in that drive. So we are at home, but we're against this team that just seems to be kind of in control. Just off the first play of the game. And I'm uh, very interested to see what they will do. And it's actually a Derek Stingley Jr. interception. What a great play. Trying to outrun everybody else on the field. Gets up the field, gets up to the 13. That's the best play I think I've ever seen Derek Stingley Jr. make. All franchise series long. We'll go play action even with the potential can we get that there mcbride i mean eric walker needs to make that throw right there for sure just needs to um yeah we've got to we've got to make sure that we score right here it'd be very bad to either turn the ball over or to not score we'll bring eric walker across and i wanted to throw it but no one looked really open third and 17 we probably got to take our shot at the end zone here with a good route from Nico Collins, perhaps we can do that. And it is. Nico Collins in the end zone finds himself in another great spot in the zone. We're able to carve up these zones with Nico Collins up the seam. So they got theirs, we got ours, and now it's pretty. we can call it pretty much even so far right here. And uh, we're waiting to make a pass play right here. It's Kevin Waddle who will end up housing this one. This one might be coming back, but it also might stand. Max Warwick is on the field right here. Matabuike is still fighting. It is roughing the passer on Max Warwick, I'd have to assume. Don Reedy, actually. My bad. thought that uh, it was Max Warwick, but bad call right there. Bad. Not a bad call. I mean, it was just a bad play there by Don Reedy. And uh, Derek Stingley Jr. getting high, highly involved here in this matchup. Trying to... Uh, own the the washington commanders perhaps he is um showing what he's worth this game and we haven't seen a single like rushing play call and uh curtis who is that that's not that's oh isaiah mckenzie for i think that's him it is isaiah mckenzie uh really good after the catch on that play right there um we're gonna try to keep this this team in check right here um yep and Derek Stingley Jr. is just out of reach. Jalen Petrie goes in for the tackle. That was a very good throw from what I think is the 66 overall quarterback. Um, only thrown that one interception. And other than that, he's been perfect. Everything. He's been perfect. And uh, they'll have number 26, A.J. Dillon, on the sideline right there. Um, this first quarters coming to an end right here who is on the running back it is actually monty osgood who we will shoot the gap with and monty osgood's in the backfield to get brian robinson on the ground very good stuff there from our team we're showing that uh we can 
stick with it here. And persistency is key, but couldn't quite. And Trayvon Diggs, our best corner, is letting a third or number two receiver score on him that easily. It's dumb. I think we may have gotten ourselves into a uh, into a good old-fashioned shootout here. But I'm not completely sure yet. We've got we to gotta keep playing and see how it plays. Damian Pierce will come in and try to power run this one up the middle of the field. And, um, I mean, does that, but the sheds are crazy. The block sheds are nuts from this defense. They have been so good all game long. This whole, this whole defensive seven, the front seven right here, have been super good at just doing stuff like that, whether it's a linebacker or a defensive lineman. They just uh, find a way in. Richards will make that play right there. And now what sort of defense is this? Only three down linemen. I mean, I've never seen a defense like this. James Cook trying to get up for about three right there. Um, we've, we've definitely got to try to figure something out here. This is a very complex team that we're playing. And uh, I think we'll figure it out on this play right here. Um, Jaquan Brisker's on this team? I think that's who that is, number 37. Uh, maybe a screen can work right here. We have the numbers on the left side. And then everyone dropped back. So if we can get that one up and across to James Cook, who does well with that one. Eric Walker right now, 9-12, 89 yards and two touchdowns. Really been uh, playing smarter than previous games. Got to give this one out to James Cook and just get up the field. This is why we got James Cook. This is exactly what he's used for and what I intended him to be used for is he's just too good to leave out of the passing game like that. So, um... We'll try to go for Nico Collins to secure catch that one. Nico Collins has been a very safe target all season long, but we just don't really get the ball to him all that often. Three receptions, 52 yards, and two touchdowns for him on the game. Just been a valuable asset here. Try to go outside with Damian Pierce. Try to get up the field for maybe a holding. Maybe a holding. Holding on the offense, no doubt in my mind. Oh my God, Trey McBride brings this one back. We have really struggled th with that this season. Uh, it's just constant. So definitely got to find a way to uh, maybe fix that. We're going to have to throw this one away. I got to keep rolling with Eric Walker for sure on those. You don't have to tell me. We'll try to put Jahan Dotson on a go route right here and see if he finds himself wide open. Nico Collins puts himself in place for a great catch like that. And this is what Nico Collins is good at. He is thriving right now, and he is ready to fight. He is something different right now. Four receptions, 70 yards in the first half, along with the two touchdowns. And, yeah, a shed like that looked like a touchdown. It looked like it was going to be a touchdown all the way through on that play. It wasn't. Spoiler alert. And uh, we'll bring Nico Collins across in the middle for a slant route. Try to get him in stride. Does. Third touchdown for Nico Collins. Am I doing that on purpose? Yeah. One thing we do have to keep in mind is that they score, they get the ball back at halftime. So this isn't going to be any uh, any easy peasy goal right here. We've got to keep them in check here until the half. Uh, whether or not it is that we, we force the, the stop or if we force a turnover or if we force too much clock not to come off. And Christian Harris on a great pass breakup right there on Curtis Samuel. Comes up, tries to make a play. He's playing in deep coverage right there, but good coverage. Obviously wasn't open early, or the quarterback might have gone to him there. And, oh my god, C.J. Gardner-Johnson is going to house this one. Easy. House call. C.J. Gardner-Johnson in the end zone. Takes this one. Uh, this quarterback is making some questionable decisions right now. Now, for a team with a good pair of running backs, they don't run the ball all that often. As I say that, Christian Harris will try to go and make something happen. But Jalen Petrie... Gets involved there as well. Brian Robinson, the Alabama running back. I guess the former Alabama running back. will get the ball on that one. They might run it again. So something to definitely watch out for. And they don't. Trying to get on there. And just a very good pass and catch from Terry McLaurin. As a... Uh, it's been he's been good this season so far. I mean he's starting to come on as of late. But Curtis Samuel's also been used this season in real life. Is what I'm talking about. By the way. In case you guys were, were lost or anything like that. And Trayvon Diggs 
Comes up with just another interception, trying to get down the sidelines. Austin Hooper chasing from behind, gets him. Yeah, uh, this quarterback is just trying to force it into his playmakers, and um, when he really shouldn't be, I'll put it that way. We're going to try to get this pass game continue to move right here, and uh, we'll have, oh, very sketchy pass underneath. Shouldn't be inaccurate, but it was for some reason. So um, might want to kill the clock off of this. Uh, might want to kill some of this time off the clock with a run right here from Damian Pierce. Take it to the two-minute warning. We will go with the screen play call right here, but I'm not liking the way that they have it stacked up on the left side. But screw it. We'll call it anyways, and that's why I didn't want to call it. Uh, really bad right there. Really bad. That is awful. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to have to try to uh, punt this one right here. Try to get this one up and out of bounds, perhaps, like, that much power is good. Corey Bohorka is going to try to make something magic happen. And Bobby Bitt, oh my goodness, what a punt. Down on the four, Corey Bohorquez, uh with a, with a monster punt right there. Bringing the heat, and we're down on the one right there. He's down on the one, we're not there. But, uh, yeah, we brought the heat. Christian Harris got in immediately. We're trying to make sure that this run is not going anywhere. CJ Gardner-Johnson, uh, well, I mean, help that one come out. But this is going to be tough right here for the Washington Commanders to swallow. I mean, obviously, we do not like punting in the situation we just punted in. But the fact that um, the situation they're in right now is not a good one, then I would not consider really trying to score right here. I'd... Take the time, and I'd go to halftime, and I'd regroup, come out, and try to uh, receive the ball and do something crazy. But they're maybe going to take a couple of shots down the field right here. So something to definitely watch out for is something underneath. And uh, A.J. Dillon bounces right off the hip from Christian Harris. That doesn't normally happen. A very rare occurrence here. And Jalen Petrie going to try to come across. <laughs> Makes a great pass breakup. I usured him on accident. I was not supposed to be using usering him right there. Ended up happening, but um, playing some man coverage now. I'll play a kind of a middle zone here with Kevin Waddle, but I'm open to the blitz for sure. Very easy coverage on Curtis Samuel, but we get him down inbounds. They'll call their timeout, and that might be their last. I think it is. So, um, not too much time to work with, but maybe they can get out of bounds once they move into field goal territory. Maybe run, like, up to the 40-yard line where Jalen Petrie is, and then run out of bounds. But other than that, I really don't care where they go with the football, unless they fumble the ball. Doesn't seem to happen. We'll see what the other teams are doing at halftime. And in Tennessee with the Indianapolis, uh, I mean, this is in our division right here and nobody looks good but the Colts are winning this one Jonathan Taylor is the only one that has some sort of a numbers even tra tracking uh Detroit with uh Jacksonville here final it's not that great except the Lions quarterback Morton goes for 417 and two touchdowns DeAndre Swift had three of those things and Donovan Peoples Jones is a receiver for the Detroit Lions Green Bay and Chicago in Chicago Justin Fields isn't performing all that great in the first half. Carson Wentz, that's an exceptional first half performance. Maybe if he didn't have that interception, Brandon Cook's still tearing it up for him. And if you guys could tell, I'm in a much better mood today than I was yesterday. That is for freaking sure. Trying to cover pretty much everything. That one is up and out of bounds. Um, yeah, Wall has thrown three interceptions to us today. Uh, hasn't been the greatest at making decisions here. It's a screen pass. Zach Terrell is going to try to come up and make a big play. I mean, doesn't quite get the hit stick on him, but got to him in time. This is a very key third down. That we're going to have to try to cover uh, whatever it is on this play. And uh, we can't. We <coughs> oh, my God. Jeff Okuda will make a great tackle on Curtis Samuel right there, though. But, yeah, we're going to play close to the line here. Make them think that we might be uh, committed to the run. But are we? We are. And uh, somehow got taken out of the equation with Christian Harris there. And we're going to try to keep to just cover him right here. That's our main goal right here. Just don't allow a completion. And that is the best way to do it. It's completed to the other team. Trayvon Diggs is second right here. And he is showing once again why he is him. He has been a very valuable asset for us. And 
I mean, how could he not be? Pick artist, Acrobat, 92 overall. Corner number one, Trayvon Diggs, has been electric for us. We're going to have to do everything we can to just try and get up and away with these runs. Can't do anything against this defense. Eight rushes, 25 yards. That is the worst stat line we've seen any like any season, any week of this franchise right here. Trying to get it out to Damian Pierce. Couldn't quite cut it up right there. I think that will also be a TFL. Oh, that's so bad. Damian Pierce has rushed or caught two passes for negative six yards. Second and ten here. We're going to try to get on Kevin Waddle here and maybe make a good user play and coming down underneath no i was hoping cj gardner johnson might be able to lay out for that one but it was thrown just fine so uh we couldn't really get our hands on that one christian harris will use to kind of stop the run right here if it is one it is not one try to go to his trusty terry mclaurin but uh does complete it there unfortunately uh we're gonna have to try to make another this another turnover we have failed to score points on our last couple of drives here and it is very embarrassing and aj dillon does not go down to a hit stick he, he will not right here i'm counting on the run right here i'm i'm hoping they run and if they don't i mean we might be a little bit screwed but i mean they do run kevin waddle will get there but drag him to the first down aj dillon uh will get brought down right there but we're gonna have to try to keep this uh this defense in check. We've been bad all season long. Um just allowing yards is just how bad we are right there. And oh my goodness gracious. Uh, it's a fumble. We caught it. Derek Stingley Jr. with his second turnover of the day. I'm not sure exactly who forced it, but uh Derek Stingley Jr. comes away with the ball for the second time today. It is gonna be a booth review, which means it will be overturned. And uh this one will be Washington ball. So, I mean, we're going to see what we can do here. We will pinch the line. We will blitz our guys. Brandon Shepard will come in off the edge right here. Try to come in and make a good play. Almost does. He gets tripped up by a downed guard, it looked like. Um, the guard and someone got uh, mixed up and fell on the ground. And Christian Harris was right there. Or not Christian Harris. We had... Um, I'm not sure. I, I give up on that, that commentary right there. I'm done. <laughs> I give up. I'm, I'm not going to try that. But we're going to have to try to keep this uh this offensive run game. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's a good way to stop it right there. Third and five, they're trying to figure out how the run works well against us. And it, and it does at times. But at other times, it is just a, a bad, bad thing. I'm trying to uh, play deep right here and... Um, Jeff Okuda and A.J. Dillon. Derek Singley Jr. could not cover A.J. Dillon. Okay, we've got an issue. Derek Singley Jr. is not the future. <laughs> I, he's not been the player I thought he would be. Oh, it is actually a run. I was thinking play action all the way for some reason. My brain's like, oh, it's play action. Go away. I don't know. I, I, I'm different. It's a touchdown. Curtis Samuel underneath. Of course has a touchdown. Um, 21 to 28. This is still a game. And we're going to try to take as much clock off the uh, the clock as we can much time off the clock but i mean how can we do that with i mean this defensive front seven just doing super well the best run of the game by the texans or by us right there i mean that is by far the best uh, no question i don't even have to think about it that is what we've been needing to do this whole game and i think that we might just dump this one off here to trey mcbride finding the hole in this defense he'll push forward and uh yeah team sacks today how do they have two sacks today? I don't remember getting sacked. I don't know what that stat's about because I don't remember getting sacked. And we'll try to go to the left side with this right here. Hopefully we can move it to the left side. We can. And we'll try to get moving up. Uh, barely get a yard right there. And I'm curious who made that play because uh, they seem to be making play after play. It's Montez Sweat. This whole defense is just so good. Uh, they seem to be making just countless amount of plays. Damian Pierce gets up for 10 right there as well. Starting to get the run game kind of going even a little bit. Uh, trying to figure out the best way past this uh, this defense right here. And it is not that right there. Jonathan Allen brings Damian Pierce down for negative one. Um, yes, we'll definitely run the ball here with James Cook. Could use his speed to get to one of the edges here. 
and avoid Jonathan Allen. Does go for three. J James Cook has definitely had his opportunities in this one right here, but just has not converted. And uh, we could run the ball right here, but I think we'll pass and try to go underneath. Trying to deliver that one right there, and we can't. No surprise, the rookie sucks at doing stuff just like that. We'll try to get this one up and into the uh, up in the uprights here, and this one is up and good. Thirty-one to twenty-one, very clutch field goal by Cade York from the right horn of the logo. And now we've got to start to play very good defense right here, and we do that by uh, not doing that right there. Uh, that is not good. I mean, if they can just get yards like that. Chew off the clock. Chewing off the clock isn't really the worst part of this whole thing right here. But, oh my god, Christian, what? <laughs> no way. I can't believe that right there. That is ridiculous. That is so dumb. Christian Harris just needed to, uh, to get that one in right there, but could not. I mean, it is a screen pass right here. Christian Harris will come back and get a big TFL. I, I don't even know what happened right there, but that is a very bad play. That we were able to turn good for us. And um, second and 18, we're going to have to play good coverage now. And try to uh, figure out this, how this uh, this offense works on this sort of situation. It looks like they want to check the ball down. So I'm thinking if we play deep, leave one of the underneaths open. Then uh, we'd have a good chance to make them check down and catch it behind the line here. So we're not going to try to allow too many yards uh, if we can here. And... Um, I mean, can we get to him? Don Reedy with the forced fumble sack. Zach Terrell picks it up. He's in the end zone now. Touchdown. Oh, my God. See, and here's the thing. This is exactly what we should be doing to a very bad quarterback. Put it put it that way. Leave it wide open. I'm leaving it wide open. But instead, he goes to the covered. Is that Cole Turner making that great play? Oh, my goodness. Cole Turner with a freaking awesome catch right there. I do like Cole Turner a lot, but I think he's a Nevada kid. Um, yeah, I mean, trying to get him down right there. Who's that? Uh, Isaiah McKenzie will get his second catch of the game, I think. Oh, sixth catch. Oh, my God. I'm so far behind. What? When did he get the other catches? Very confused by all that right there. And Christian Harris is going to try to get into that backfield. Couldn't quite. Jalen Petrie trying to get A.J. Dillon down. But, yeah, this, this quarterback... 66 overall is horrible and we're trying to kind of stop him right now but he's still throwing good plays every here and there and oh my what a snag by aj dillon goodness gracious he is a force to be reckoned with right now um aj dillon eight receptions 79 yards that is awesome i mean he is just plowing us right now and uh leaving it wide open and Trayvon Diggs is going to try to animate onto that one. And it's a forced fumble. C.J. Gardner-Johnson now. Derek Stingley Jr. will try to outrun A.J. Dillon. Couldn't quite. Derek Stingley Jr. on his second fumble recovery. This is his best game by far we've seen all franchise season long. Or all franchise series long. Not, not quite the season. Um, can we get that one right there? Trey McBride finds himself, finds himself in bounds. But yeah, this is exactly the sort of game we needed out of Eric Walker. Restore uh, some confidence in him and make sure that he can play the game still without being, you know, bad. And uh, he's proven today that he can do just that. This this team is too hard to run on. I hate running on this team. I'll have to remember that next time that we play this team. If there is a next time, because it'll just be, it's just so annoying trying to... Um, get this team to to bug off and try to get the, the good run against. And we do here. Damian Pierce will actually get to the outside. I'm trying to stay in bounds. I'm trying to stay in bounds with them. But 65 yards, it's still a bad game. Uh, you have to think about it. It is Damian Pierce, and he's not been bad all season long. So, I mean, all things considered, we're trying to get him yards still. 73 yards. We're trying to go for, like, an 1,000-yard season. Trying to get his dev trade up. And, I mean, we could easily do that this year if we keep on just playing like this. And 
keep plowing forward for yards just like that and for the last play of the game we will go with the james cook run up the middle of the field just trying to get him some additional yardage as well make his numbers not look so bad but that'll be the game right here um the commanders just gave up they're not calling timeouts anything we got this one done today this was uh very that was that was not not straight at all for me but yeah um <laughs> we got it done nico collins very good playing from him uh, in that first half, he was kind of the offense, if I can't lie. A lot of secure catches. Uh, probably his best game in a while. Jahan Dotson really has cooled down from his good stretch. But we did exactly what we needed to do. And looking at the player stats right here, we went 17-23, 158, and three touchdowns, no interception. Great game from Eric Walker, putting up a 131 QBR right there. Uh, Damian Pierce, five yards on the ground towards the end. We really started to get going. 18 attempts, 90 yards, still a very solid game from him. Receiving-wise, James Cook was very good leading receiver, but Nico Collins was leader in receiving yards. Justin Ross did well this game. We just didn't have much of a passing attack in general. So I'm really curious to see what Jahan Dotson can do. If I'm curious if I put him in the slot and if I put Justin Ross where Jahan Dotson is, I think that we'd see a lot of different uh, uses with the team. And yeah, Devin Duvernay is pretty much ruled out now. He's not really playing uh, too much or too well. Solo tackles. I mean, when he gets the ball, he's very fast. But he does this weird thing where he steps into the catch, and I hate it. So, um, five solo tackles, four assisted, nine total, three TFLs, no sacks. Sacks went to Justin Matabuike, and Don Reedy finds himself in the backfield once again. Interception, Trayvon Dix found himself with two. CJ Gardner-Johnson had him one. And Derek Stingley Jr. had one. One with seven tackles and some fumble recoveries. Uh, I think he had two, but whatever. Fumble return yards was good as well. But he found himself in the right place, right times. And, um, yeah. And Justin Matabuike will have a um, good old-fashioned upgrade. We'll keep going with Run Stopper. That just needs to be the role that he plays on this team. 81 overall, needs to just keep going up and block shedding, and we'll see what he can do as he progresses, and we'll advance the week now, and try to uh, keep this this run going that we have. We are 8-3, and three. we're against a very tough team, and then I think against another very tough team, depending on how well, uh, I don't know how well Carson Wentz can play, but immovable objects... I mean, I guess that's fine, but tandem breakout is what I'm very interested in. I'm curious what we're going to have to try to do there. But um, looking at the team, I want to see how many more reps we have. In, oh, it's already it's already done. I was going to say, I want to see how many more reps, reps we have until we reveal Eric Walker's dev trait. But we just figured out he's a star. I mean, I wasn't really expecting anything else. But uh, Brian Shepard, or Brandon Shepard, and Don Reedy still have some... Uh, some games to go until they've got it done he's barely even halfway just a little over half and um same with brandon shepherd i'm curious if he's less he's at 329 but yeah he's very solid and i think he's been very underrated as time goes on we uh we've just not been paying attention to him really but um i want to take a look at our stats as this was a shorter episode so we'll, we'll take a look at our stats here but Lucas Hicks, when he played, was electric until his last game, but um, when he played, he was awesome, but Eric Walker needs to come in, and I think that he's really starting to figure out the offense and figure out the game of football. Damian Pierce, though, let's talk about it. He's been super, super, super solid for this team um, so far this year. I was even thinking about trading him, but at 5'10", 224, uh, one of the best power backs in the league... 889 yards on five per carry is crazy. James Cook also has been very solid in that department of running the football and also receiving. He's our second leading receiver. He's already closer. I mean, 800 right there. He's at nearly 900 yards receiving. And Damian Pierce. So, yeah, Damian Pierce is at like 950 yards of scrimmage. James Cook, 441 plus the 400. He's at like 850. So... We have a very dynamic thing going, but Jahan Dotson, we really need to figure out how to keep him going and get, get him the ball a little bit more as he's just been a great playmaker. 11 touchdowns, most on the team by far. He's been insane. Nico Collins here as well at five touchdowns. We've spread the offense pretty well. Um, Justin Ross even has a touchdown. AJ Long found himself the end zone last week, but 
yeah, we, we need to figure out how to keep this offense going. And defensively, though, very inconsistent in sacks. But Zach Terrell at 9.5, very good. Max Work at 6.5, was not aware that it was that high. Four, uh, four even for Don Reedy. Three in the last three games. Been very solid as of late. Christian Harris has 3.5 sacks, five interceptions. Uh, Matt of week a three, one for Tim Mooney, 0.5 for Jarek Stingley Jr. And we'll look at interceptions really quick. Trayvon Dix was six. Christian Harris was five, four, three, and then a couple of ones around. But we have been so good at creating turnovers this season. It's not even funny. TFLs, Kevin Waddle, and Christian Harris, of course, of course, they're at the top of the list there. Just a of week a there, Don Reedy. Of course, Don Reedy's playing very underratedly well. And uh, we'll look at forced fumbles right here. See how many we have. Christian Harris, uh, three, two, 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 one, 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 one. And yeah, who did you see at the top of that one? It was also Don Reedy with two forced fumbles. He's been good. He's definitely been good. And that'll be it for this episode for me. And uh, yeah, I'd like to, to keep this series going, keep it up in spirits. We have a lot of good things to look forward to. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Hopefully you guys think it's realistic enough that we're AM3. We've been playing well, been creating the turnovers. Um, yeah, I don't think that there's really much else, but, uh, I think I'll see you guys next time. I mean, oh, I don't have anything else to say, so make sure to subscribe. It's completely free. You can unsubscribe anytime. Uh, I promise it'll be worth your while. I try my best to upload daily. Um, I have been for a while now and I'm going to keep the grind up, but yeah, I mean, I really enjoy making the content for you guys. So, uh, if you guys can do me a solid smash that like button and also make sure to subscribe, it means so, so much to me, especially if you watch them now. Comment down below um, who your favorite player is in the franchise if you watch till now. And I'll know you watch till now and uh, literally make my day. So see you guys next time.